Good morning world from Palo Alto, the center of Silicon Valley. <laughs> hey, I have been asked to talk about how to budget and save for a around the world trip. And here's what I do. I uh, cut out all unnecessary expenses um, that I can live without, like new fancy clothes, restaurants, um, what else do I not do? Rent, if I can get away with it. <laughs> oh, and I don't have a car on purpose. I am car free and I am happy to be car free because after doing my taxes and tallying up what I paid on cars, they cost thousands of dollars not just to buy them, but to maintain them in proper condition. So that saves a lot too. I use Uber, Caltrain, the bus, walking a lot, which is why the uh, dog sitting is so good. And then I just think of new ways to make money. So the dog sitting has been great. Um, of course, I continue with my photography business, teaching for Airbnb. That's been a new thing this past year, which is really super fun. Still doing my privates. If anybody wants a private before Christmas, let me know. It makes a great gift. I'll make something for you to wrap up. Um, and then I still teach yoga and I do privates. So, you know, you just get really creative. And I love what I do. I love my job. That helps because that enthusiasm goes into the rest of your life. Oh, and then you got to start um, uh, worshiping the sites for getting tickets so you got to keep on those because you'll get a really good deal like i got singapore all the way to Kathmandu for less than 500 dollars one way i've never been able to get that rate uh, singapore is the best airlines in the world they didn't pay me they just are they feed you they're nice to you they're clean the seats are big and coach amazing anyway um so you get more savvy about travel and uh, and I usually travel by myself. I actually end up spending more money when I travel with other people because um, they want to sometimes do things I don't want to do. <laughs> and then you end up splitting a bigger bill than you wanted to spend. Um, so it's not always, you know, a way to save money to travel with people. Traveling solo is great because you can uh, determine what level you want to travel at. If you want to splash out in one town and not in another, hey, cool. So, um, and I'm not saying I wouldn't. I, uh, I think it'd be really fun to travel with a loved one. And after traveling with my son, it was super fun and I enjoyed it. So questions about saving up for uh, traveling below. Um, I'm happy to help you with your questions. This will be posted on YouTube and on Facebook, so ask away. Namaste, I'll see you in the next video.